So hello everyone. So today is the like minor surgery in me pack. Um, my dad's putting weird phases. Um, but we're stuck in traffic and like, <laughs> like we're just outside Birmingham. I think it's gonna fall. Um, but like we've we're hardly moving. Like we move like a few meters every like few minutes. It's not great, is it? No, I'm not blaming you. Me? What have I done? <laughs> There's been a crash and then the, the hard shoulder and legs one and two are closed. So that's causing nightmares. <laughs> but we've rung the hospital. Yeah. Alone, so. We've let them know that we are going to be late. <laughs> and they said it's fine, I'll just let them know. But yeah. So, um, it was nil by mouth or was top uh, Yeah, I'm nil by mouth, I think that's how I say it. Because um, yesterday I said it wrong, very wrong. Yeah, she said um, she needed to be uh, kneel by mouth. Because I don't know who Neil is. <laughs> I don't know if she meant leaning down or uh, good friend Neil. Because I didn't actually know what it was called. Like, I thought it was actually called like Neil yeah, but it, if you don't know what it means it basically means that you're not allowed to eat anything um, from like a certain time that they say so I, I wasn't allowed to eat from like 3 o'clock in the morning after 3 o'clock in the morning and then I'm only allowed to drink water or juice that's it <laughs> yeah well I'm doing it as well so um, because Karis is nil by mouth I'm doing it as well so I'm hungry <laughs> and I get hungry a lot. <laughs> I'm so. quite hungry to be honest. <laughs> Whilst Cass is going to be in surgery, obviously I'll continue um, um, and I will want to be eating my own arm. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, so while I'm in surgery, he's going to eat his arm. So. Have you told him about what they're doing in surgery? I think so. So they're, mm. take it, they're doing like a needle into like near my spine, but like near my hip as well. Back, like on the back and they're gonna um, put the needle in and take some bone marrow I thought it was like an actual like piece of bone marrow but it's just liquid stuff I think, I think that's how you explain it <laughs> yeah. I mean they're just gonna test it and it'll take a few days to come back for the results um, so find, out what's, find out what's going on because tapers. Karis had blood again done yesterday by the community nurses who came out in the morning the afternoon by the time they came out um, and her platelets are still really really low so that's been um, like I've not had chemo since November two and a half months now where um, her platelets are low um, and your platelets are like a thing that helps your blood clot um, stops you from bleeding if you get a cut or stuff like that stops you from getting internal bleeding um, so they're a bit concerned that it's been so low for so long Usually, cases play to stay low for a couple of weeks after chemotherapy, and then they begin to come up. And once they start coming up, they tend to shoot up. Um, but obviously, it's, we're now, well, you know, 10 weeks or something since somewhere, somewhere around there um, of really low platelets, and obviously, it can be dangerous. So, just need to look at the options on why um, they're not coming up. So. Um, the most likely option is the fact that Karis has just had so much chemotherapy over the last 12 months that her body's just struggling to cope with everything that's going on and it's finding it difficult um, but there's a few other options as well so um, you know they tend to be a bit more serious um, a bit more worrying so that's why we want this get this done now so we can um, know what's going on basically and then we'll, uh, we'll come up with a program from there yeah depending on what it says going on but i got to have my me back <coughs> after as well yeah so that tends to make her very tired because she has to have a period on and she usually puts her to sleep um, and obviously um, it tends to give her really bad headaches or it can do like really painful headaches and migraines um, and it can give her like flu like symptoms as well so very runny nose and just generally not feeling you know very well a bit achy and stuff so we'll see how she's why I always that. sneeze <laughs> but obviously I'm expecting her to be not brilliant later because obviously with her having the surgery as well she's going to have a general anaesthetic so they're going to put her to sleep as well um, and obviously once you've had that you're very groggy afterwards when you 
when you wake up sort of thing it takes you a few hours to get over the general anaesthetic and, and always a bit of a worry with carriers just because of a previous history with the liver it's also they need they're going to put the anaesthetic into a central line and that's how they put her to sleep um, but obviously with the fact that she's had liver issues before there's always that worry because it's your liver that's got to process those drugs to wake you back up again it's it's not as a, a, a strong an anaesthetic as I had for my amputation. No, because they use it on how long they need to keep you asleep for. Yeah. But um, it's still, obviously, um, as mind. a parent, it's still always worrying, especially um, when she goes, you, know, you see her going to like, they start putting her under sleep because literally it just knocks them straight out. Um, so and then you've got to wait. So even though the surgery's probably only be 20 minutes, half an hour, um, it'll be like an hour or two that you'll be in theatre for until she wakes up and stuff so it, um, it's always like stressful as a parent waiting so because you obviously can't see them and stuff like that so just hopefully get it done as quick as possible <sighs> get the results and move on still like stuck in traffic there <laughs> yeah it's still not moving they were 9.4 miles away and it's taken forever We've been, un, we've been this far away for about 40 minutes, half an hour, so. Mm. Yeah, but I'll let you know when we're at the hospital. We are now at the hospital and I've had my obs done and spoke to the anaesthetist. Um, everything is all good and we're just waiting to go in now. So your friend Harry is on it? Oh yeah, I saw Harry. <laughs> it's one of the other boys yeah. that's been treated for leukemia yeah um, but he's, he's got um, down, down syndrome, syndrome ADHD and autism yeah so, so he yeah. finds things very difficult he wants to go home yeah, but, yeah. we'll be making him laugh aren't we yeah and I gave him some he likes like repetitive noises so I gave him some like blocks so when you put them inside each other they make like a noise so he likes those doesn't he yeah. You're trying to eat food. Hello. Okay. <laughs> he said to me before, I'm just going to go in the bag and get some food. I'm not allowed any food. I'm not allowed food. He's doing if the... If Keris is nil by mouth, then I'm nil by mouth, really. Yeah, because it's only fair because he can't like eat in front of me. It's not fair. <laughs> but, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> hey, guys. So, I am still waiting. I'm what? currently watching Friends. Um, but what time is it? It's now 11.22, I haven't eaten since yesterday and I'm getting hungry. So, um, I've not drank anything or anything because I'm not allowed to. And I was meant to go in at 9 and it's like 20 past 11, 22 minutes past 11. Like, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, let's eat in a bit. Sorry if the quality's bad on my eyes. But really sore. My dad's going to get me food. They put a candle in me because they flush my line, and then they need to give me something. So they put a candle in. But anyway, I'm, I'm coming around a bit more now. But it's so painful. Yeah. Okay guys, so it's I'm now home and it's the next day now. So when I came out of the theatre I was um, really sore and my dad went and got me some food and then I was asleep for like ages. I had my day treatment and then I was asleep. Um my hands gone bruised because they put like I don't know how I'm gonna do this, so I'll put you there. Like they tried to put a cannula in up the but then they ended up putting it over here. Um, I don't know why they did that because I got. Well, they told me why they did it. It's because I've got a central line which they can use. Um, but they had flushed my central line and hep locked it, so um, they didn't want to reopen it or whatever. So they just put a cannula in. Um, I'm taking. So it's just like that on my back. But, um, we're taking that off today because they said just don't keep it on for too long. 
I got home last night, I had dinner and that after a while, but I was asleep for ages, like, I couldn't stop sleeping, so it's now four o'clock in the afternoon, I have not been to school today, um, I don't know if I am going tomorrow, it depends how I feel, but I've got the hiccups now, which isn't great, but it's just been raining all day, um, it's been like a really just chill day, um, know just chilling out and all that um but i'm feeling a lot better um it was quite sore yesterday but because of my cancer i can't have paracetamol and um, the only time i have it is with my day treatment it's because if i get a temperature they'll give me paracetamol to make my temperature go down so if they give it to me it can like kind of like mess with my body temperature or something like that um, but yeah, if I, if I take, when I take this off, I'll record it and add it in, but, um, I'm just gonna end this here, but, like, there'll be another bit afterwards if I do film it, if I don't, then I'm sorry, um, but yeah, I'm gonna end this here, thanks for watching, like, my surgery kind of vlog thing, no, it's not the best in that, but, um, we find out the results next week and as soon as I find out I'll let you guys know um but yeah see you in the next video